Got him. Got him. Got him. Yep. experience is the next best thing to going on the adventure yourself and who knows this unique show just might give you some ideas for your next fishing or hunting trip this week we're back in sunset country ontario to experience october on eagle eagle lake is an amazing fishery nearly 80 miles from the west arm to southeast nivens bay we're staying in the center of the lake, near Vermilion Bay at Birchdale Lodge. We'll sample it all this trip, spend a bit of time in the woods chasing grouse, catch a few walleyes, maybe even try to land a wintering school of smallmouth. But the main focus is going to be muskies. Eagle Lake is a special place to us. We've been coming to Eagle for over 25 years and it has a history of producing giant muskies. In fact, on our last trip here, I caught my personal best, and we caught several other awesome muskies. Time to wash some lures. Keepers. Whew. That's why I love Eagle Lake. You make <laughs> you see a giant one. Boy, that got excited, didn't it? In the next cast, you see another one that's not giant, but it's really, really nice. Would have loved to have caught that one. Two follows and two casts from two different fish on a random rock pile, which there's about 2,500 of them in this area. Wow, is that cool. Oh, there we go. Look at this sucker. Hot, hot, oh, cool, hot. Cool, cool. <laughs> oh, man. Just wanted it so that was bad. So that was cool. so close. That was so cool watching that. Oh, I thought it was gonna go. That thing was like on you, hot. How did it not bite? How did I not get that sucker? <laughs> like shaking, that was really cool. I mean, that is half the fun of musky fishing is when you get to see a fish that's like glued to your bait and just like moving fast. And that thing was like lime green. It was just beautiful. Wow, that was cool. Oh my goodness. It really gets your heart going. It is so exciting. We're gonna leave that one alone and come back to it in a little bit. Boy, I can't believe the faster I went, the faster she went. And I really thought that outside corner was gonna do it, but. 
she just didn't take it. Oh, that was wild watching that thing come right on. It was just hot. You said I, I think saw it, was it from spinning. way out there. It was so green yep. colored. It was yep. like wow. Look at that. Oh, there she is. Go, 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 go. Oh, she... get, get it closer to your, um, get it closer to your rod tip, Ty. What? Get it closer to your rod tip. She's still on it. I know, it's not spinning though. You gotta get it closer to your rod tip. No, I know, but she's still on it right now. Oh, come on. Oh, man. That was cool. <laughs> it's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> Holy cow! That's it, awesome, it man. It is, isn't it? I am not, I am not a muskie fisherman by no means. But when you can see something like that, and the reason why I go muskie fishing is, you can come up to Ontario and, and see a lot of those follows and you get hooked up and whatever, but you gotta go with a guy that knows what he's doing. Jeremy has been coming up here his whole life. And it's fun to come up here because you know you're gonna be on fish. Because he's been to all these spots. I mean, Eagle Lake is one of his favorite lakes to fish. It's one of my favorite lakes to fish for walleyes. But again, he, he just knows a ton of spots out here. And to see a follow like that, that thing was probably, thing what, was moving. 45, 50 inches? And it was right on top of my bait. It's just a lot of fun to see that. That was cool. <laughs> it's kind of interesting, I, you know, I got the first line through there and so we were seeing all those fish on the big blades and I thought, well, what the heck, they weren't, bite, they didn't bite, they were following, so I went to a smaller bucktail thinking that might be the answer to getting one of them to bite and I got multiple casts in there and the fish ignored me and Ty's got the huge blades on and once you know it, fish followed the huge blades. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, she's gonna get it. I'm gonna get her on this one, Jim. See you on? <laughs> oh, oh! <laughs> no way! Why? Why didn't she just bite it? She gets so excited. Oh, she know. was like on you, there. man. Oh, she's still there. Shapers. The fish was just psycho. <laughs> I think it was so I think it was so on. I was you. like, oh my gosh, here we go. I'm gonna catch this on the first turn. <laughs> I'm just snake bit. Holy cow, they're just they are. So often when you're doing this musky program, you get a follow like that, like the best bait really you can have for triggering fish both sides is a, is a bucktail. And it's really important to kind of read their mood, but usually it's speed. You come in, you start moving faster, get their nose down and try to just hang it on the corner. And it's kind of interesting. The, the technique is generally like, you'll come in and you push it down and you go fast in the straightaway, which, and then Kind of right out here, you'll hang it, and then you'll speed up again, coming through, hang it out here. And these fish, for whatever reason, when I'm slowing down, this is, that's like the most deadly technique there is, is just slowing it down in that outside corner, but they're just, they get turned off for whatever reason right now on that. They just want to go fast constantly. Whew. I can't really explain myself. My heart's going, it's just <laughs> awesome seeing those things. They're so cool. <laughs> Oh, there's a nice one. Look at this one. Look at this one. Oh, she's right on it. Oh, 
boy, that was a big, oh, it's still there. Still on it? Yeah, it was, yep. A big one, holy cow, is that a big, oh, it's still there, it's still there. Still there. <laughs> Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. It is got to happen soon. Man, oh man, oh man. We've been seeing so many fish and they're just enormous. Fall is definitely a time when those big fish show up in so many of those spots. And yesterday we saw over a dozen fish and some absolute monsters. And of course, as luck would have it, the big cold front came in, but change can often lead to uh, success. So muskies really like that uh, windy gray days often. So we're hoping that we get something to bite. I switched up to a big plastic bait, a great bait for the fall. And hopefully we can get one of these dirty birds to bite. Man, we're just this close to putting one of those super fish in the boat. Unbelievable. Whew. Got him, got him. Got one? Yep. Nice. Nice. There we go. Sweet. Then hit Boy. the water and bam. Little guy, but it's a musky. It's a musky. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> We've been working our butts off for one of these darn things. And once you know it, it finally happened. Thank you, Ty. Boy, you're quick on the net, mister. <laughs> yeah, the net is free or the bait is free. We are living. All right, Ty actually saw a fish here yesterday. Came up and tried to eat his bucktail. This particular one came on a plastic. You know, every day, really every hour when you're musky fishing, conditions can change, fish can change, and look at that. I wouldn't hit it in the head. So you gotta play around with different different baits. In the fall, typically you'd be fishing a lot of uh, rubber like this. We might be doing some trolling, but yesterday we had nice warm conditions. The water's still in the 60s, so bucktails were the, were the deal, and we've got a big cold front here. Hands are cold, we're ready to put on another layer and switch to the plastic, and voila. Caught a nice, pretty Eagle Lake muskie. I'll show you this guy, he's really beautiful. I looked it up study a while back and it was it was pretty cool. Eagle Lake has some of the fastest growing muskies in Ontario. No, that is not a giant. Look at the build on it. Look how pretty that fish is. Absolutely spectacular. Hey, any fish in the boat is great and it smells like success. All right, let's get it back. Pretty, huh? Aren't you pretty? Whew. All right, we'll stick with it. We'll keep on the program. Yesterday we found a number of spots that had muskies on it. Some had multiple fish. So game plan today is rather than just searching for new spots, which Eagle Lake has tons and tons of new spots. All the shield lakes up here do. We're just going to go to spots that we saw big fish. We saw a couple different fish on and we're just going to do that milk run for the day and hopefully capitalize on some more muskies. Oh, look at this one. Look at that big yellow one. Holy cow. Wow, is that thing cool? Holy smoke, see it? Yep. Wow, two of them on here. Still down there, I can still see it. Ooh, liked it when it was falling. Oh, he's following it down. I can see him. Look at him chasing it all the way down. Come on, come on, come on. He's going, he's following it down towards the bottom. Oh, he went right to the bottom. 
still looking at it. Big one? Still looking, yeah, it's a big one. Another one of those four footers. Jeez, that was cool. I could see him on live. He's still down there. When it fell, he went all the way to the bottom and like nose down on it. Huh. It's pretty cool that um, I've got technology in the boat that allows me to see real time in front of the boat. So I can actually watch my lure, watch the fish. Picture what uh, you see on a flash or when you're ice fishing. Basically, I get to see that at a 20 degree angle in front of the boat. So I saw that fish and I dropped this bait to the bottom and jigged it and I could watch the fish in real time swim down and check it out. Pretty cool. If you don't do a ton of muskie fishing, trolling is one of the easiest ways to go about covering water and learning a lake. A lot of this Canadian Shield water is it's vast. There are so many spots that can seem intimidating, but when you put the boat in gear and you're cruising around between three and four miles an hour, that's the typical muskie trolling speed, you get to learn a lot of water and see a lot of cool habitat. So I really think it's a great way to approach learning new water and it's especially effective when you get adverse weather conditions. As you can see right now, it's gotten really cold, it's gray, it's super windy. You know, for us to go fish a lot of the main lake rock reefs where we saw fish earlier, it's, it's just, it's really challenging. So just putting the, the motor in gear, driving around a few miles an hour, you can just learn a ton of water and it's a really effective way to catch big muskies. There we go, there There's we go, on, on, yep, on, musky, musky, musky. Sweet, Ty. That's awesome. That is, we were just talking about how this looks like such a great spot. Okay, it should be coming right up here. Oh, oh it's, it's a, a huge northern, nice huh? Beautiful, we were just wow. talking about how, where are all the pike at? We usually catch lots of pike on trips like this, and sweet, and we finally got one. <laughs> and as we were having this conversation, we just said that if the water was 49 degrees, not 59 degrees, we would have had uh, probably a much different experience with trolling. We've got some action, but it's not been great. When the water gets a little colder, the fishing really turns on. But when do you see this pike? This is one of the great things about fall trolling is these are one of the more common bonus fish that you get. That's Nice yeah, fish. She's got a big old fat gut on her. Big fat gut on her. Here we go. Look at this. Ooh. Look at the stomach on this thing. Look at that thing. Look That's that. a great pike, huh? <laughs> That's Look at that beautiful northern. All right. Well, we are nice definitely ones. having a great experience up here in Sunset Country. Pike, big muskies, the whole works is happening. I love it. Nice. Cool. It's awesome when you get a bonus fish like that, right? Yeah, it is. I'm going to get it back. All right. All right. And here she goes. Sweet, nice big fat jack. <laughs> He'll mess around. <laughs> He's like, I'm out of here. See ya. That's a fish. That's a fish. <laughs> That's a fish. I think he might have came back and got him. I might have had a hit there. What do we got? I don't think it's a huge fish, whatever it is, but. Boy, that didn't take long, Ty. No, it didn't. Oh, it is a huge fish. It's a gigantic musky tie. Ready, I'm ready. We, uh, we're dealing with the cold front here and thought, man, oh man, our hands are getting cold. We should probably try trolling for a little bit. I mean, this is five minutes into the troll. Here, it's coming towards you. It's coming okay. towards you. Okay. Nope, it's going the other way. It's barely hooked. Barely hooked. Barely, barely hooked. It's coming. Coming right here. Oh. oh, this is big, big. This is a big one, boys. See if we can do it, Ty. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. oh yeah. man. And it's it up. Came up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it's all about, man. This is such a cool deal up here. Oh, you've got to adapt to the conditions. You just have to change to do what the weather tells you. Yesterday was warm and sunny, the fish were shallow. It just didn't feel right to be casting shallow. We trolled one rock point, bam! I mean, an Eagle Lake 
Magnum. This a thing Magnum. is a giant. Jared's like, you want to switch uh, presentations? He knows how much I love to troll for muskies because it's always been a successful way to catch muskies up here, big muskies up here. Him and I have done it many times on Eagle together. And we seem like we always catch a mammoth pulling big baits. This thing is absolutely massive. Ouch, ow. Wait till you see this thing. Oh. I mean, oh, heavy, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> heavy fish. What's the size of that thing? <laughs> Fall in Sunset Country is absolutely the time to come hunting giants. Eagle Lake is one of my favorite places on planet Earth for this reason, and October is very, very special. <laughs>